Hello everyone, this is Khalil from NCS Training Center. We are a training center specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central training located here in Toronto, Canada. This is my contact information if you have any questions or any training requests for Microsoft Dynamics Business Central training, don't hesitate to contact me. Today we are going to cover a subject which is the general posting setup that was requested from me. I was asked a few questions to make a small presentation or training session for the general posting setup. <clears throat> And this is covered already in the application setup course for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Center course. So as I mentioned, we will talk today about the general posting setup because I was asked a few questions from different people if there is easy way to insert records or modify records that belongs to the general posting setup group. The easiest way to do that is to use the copy function and the suggest account functions. These two functions are available already in the system. You don't need to have any customization to use them. And you will be able to copy the accounts from different general posting setup records. For example, if you go to the general posting setup, you will have different combination for these two posting groups. The general posting group and the general product posting group. So the general business posting group you will have domestic, for example, domestic, that you can group your customers or vendors through domestic general business posting group. And you will have the general product posting group that you can group your items. For example, this item is manufacturing item, miscellaneous item, no VAT, raw material item, retail item, service items. So you see this general product posting group, you will be assigning it to items. While the general business posting group, you will be assigning it to vendors or customers. Now what's the reason for the general posting setup? The reason that Microsoft Dynamics Business Central use the general posting setup to combine these two together. So for example, if you have a domestic customer and you sell a material that is, or item that is manufacturing item, the sales account <clears throat> based on this combination will be 6110 while the sales credit memo account will be also 6110 and you can define all these accounts in the general posting cell. This is very important when you do posting for purchase invoices or sales invoices or credit memo for example. It will be using these accounts that you defined here in the general posting setup. Now, of course, you can click on new and insert new combination or new record of the general posting setup table. And you can assign the sales account manually for each new record that you insert. But this is why the copy function and the suggest accounts function becomes handy. These two functions become handy to you. 
So instead of entering all the accounts manually, you can copy these accounts from previous entry that you have. Let me show you this in the application. So here is my Microsoft Dynamics Business Center. I will search for general posting setup. You see, here, for example, if the general business posting group is blank and the general product posting group is this one here, which means the distribution item, use these accounts, the sales account, the sales create memo account. There are lots of accounts. You can view all of them by clicking on edit here and you can edit that record here. So if you are using blank general business posting group with this distribution general product posting group, it should be using all these accounts, sales account, purchases account. You don't have to specify all the accounts if you don't need them for this combination. But if you need them, you must specify all the accounts there based on the combination that you are using. Now, for example, I created this combination domestic with no tax items. I can go to edit and I can use the copy function and it will ask you here, where do you want to copy the sales accounts or the purchase accounts and the inventory accounts it's up to you to turn it on or off for example i want to copy it from domestic distribution i click ok and it will confirm you have to confirm again by clicking yes so you see it will copy here this combination would be copied from domestic contribution general product posting group. And you still can modify any of these accounts. For example, I want to modify the sales account to be 0190. If it is exists, it will accept that. Or 0900, for example. So when you modify any of the accounts that you have for sales, after you do, do the copy, it will accept that if this account is valid account. It will not accept like what happened here with me. It prompted me to an error because that account was not exist. So this is about the copy function. Now, the suggest account, for example, I go to this combination here and I go to edit and I click on suggest accounts and you see it will suggest the accounts based on the closest combination that I used before. For example, I used domestic with distribution. It will copy these accounts from the previous entries that is the closest to you for the general posting setup. So I hope that helped and that answered your question. And keep in mind that after you copy or after you suggest accounts, you still be able to change any of the attached accounts or any of the sales account, purchases account, the inventory account, the cost of goods account. This 